everyone. So, hi everybody. Welcome to the Mia Connect on Air. I'm your host, Mia Voss. Today I'm doing an interview, not a social media power chat, because it's a very special day. Today is the birthday of Pio Dal Chin. Welcome to the show, darling. Ciao, ciao. Thank you okay. for having me. Yes, absolutely. Hold on, I didn't have it queued up. <laughs> so we were just saying on the, before the show started, I said, Pio, are you ready? And you said... I was born ready. <laughs> yes, you were born ready, which is perfect for today. And then I want you to say my other favorite phrase that I say. What do I always say? I'm what about you? You're bat, bat crazy. <laughs> bat, bat crazy. <laughs> You say it better than anybody. That's not crazy. That's right, exactly. And then, um, so of course, I usually wear my Principesa crown, but today, for your birthday, I'm going to wear this. Nah, that's wonderful. So, Thank you. You move, me to you, you move me to tears. <laughs> you know what I liked the best uh, this week? Well, I just liked it on your page was the, uh, the gift that you did with the, with the sunglasses, with the, the flashy glasses. Oh, the auto awesome, yeah. I took the awesome, pictures. That's right. <laughs> yeah, the, I, the, love that. I was surprised myself. I, I took six or seven pictures. Well, my daughter took six or seven pictures. Next yes. thing I know, I look in the picture and I saw all this. I say, hey, let me put it on, on the uh, page. Mm -hmm. I, it's it's perfect. I love that because it does have the. I just did it today with Bob Voss, so we'll see how that. I haven't posted it yet, but. But I will be. It looks really good. All right, well, let's talk about you because it's your birthday. So yes. let's, uh, I mean, what got you to, what number is it today? I don't want to out you unless you don't want to say how old you are. How old uh, are you? I'm, I'm, uh, I'm uh, uh, 57 year young. 57 spankings. Do you do that in Italy, spankings? No spankings. We, 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 we pull the ears like this. <laughs> what? You have to pull the ears down for 57 times. That's about a half an hour. Do you, do you pray? Yeah, you, you go like this. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that takes a long time. <laughs> I, well, I know. Mine would be 48. Next year, 49 for that. So my earlobes would be red. I did not know that. That's learned something new today for the, uh, for the ear pulling. Oh, I love oh, that. Yeah, All right, I, let's oh, talk yeah. about... Yeah, so we you always interview everybody else. So let's talk about you today. So where did you grow up? I didn't grow up. That's oh, I'm so glad you said that. <laughs> I'm still I'm still a kid. No, yeah. I grew up in the in the um, in Veneto, which is a, a northeastern Italian region where Venice is uh, is up there in the northeastern part of the country. In a small village of uh, 5,000 people, and then I move out to travel the world. I love to see what was on the other side of the fence, and I did. I traveled, I met people, I learned, I, I went all over the place. I lived in the United States of America, which I love very much. Yes. And uh, when they asked me, do you love uh, the USA more? or Italy, I say, it's like loving two women. It's hard to make up your mind, you know, you have two <laughs> women that you really love, and you, they're, they're two, it's like having a blonde and a, and a brunette. I love both of them. I cannot make my mind which one I love the best, but I love them both. I know what you should say for this conversation right now. What color you love? Blonde. <laughs> How do you say? <laughs> I was just being well, partial to myself. How do you, you say uh, uh, blonde in Italian, Pio? Bionda. Bionda. I love Bionda. that. I need, to, I need to put my little headset in, too. Um, I love that. And I know that, yes, you haven't grown up. You wanted, yeah, it's, it's, hard to, uh, it's hard to make the choice. So tell me, okay, so you were raised in Italy, and then um, you traveled. I love the last time we talked, and we did this on your show, too. You got to travel to some pretty interesting places, and then you ended up... Um, kind of getting into some more war-torn places and that really kind of affected your photography. Is that correct? Yes. I'll, I began um, my photograph, uh, my photojournalist career at taking war pictures uh, as a choice because uh, the, there was uh, 
there was a, a lot less competition there. I had to establish myself into the into the photojournalist world, and it wasn't easy to get in. So I say, hey, I have to go where nobody likes to go, and uh, war, war areas where the, where nobody went to go. Really. <laughs> so I did that, and I, I freelanced for a couple of years, and finally I landed a job with a uh, newspaper based in Venice, and uh, I also did some stringing for the Associated Press for the northeastern area of Italy here. And, uh, you know, anytime something happened in, in Europe and in around uh, where I lived, I, I just grabbed my cameras and go, like, for example, one of the biggest things I can remember, the, the one that gave me a lot of satisfaction was uh, the falling of the Berlin Wall. Wow. Uh, November 9, 1989. As I heard the news on the, on the radio, I just grabbed my car. 17 hours drive, and I, I went over and took some interesting pictures there of the of this event that affected Europe so much. And uh, mm -hmm. after that, you know, I, more and more, I I stayed with the newspaper for about nine nine years. And mm -hmm. uh, then I went to the States, and I liked it there. I lived there for a while, and then. Where are you at in the States, Pio? I lived in Florida. Florida, I lived in Los Angeles, I lived in uh, Tennessee. Oh, that oh, I love is Tennessee. random, my friend. You did? <laughs> I did in Knoxville, 1982. Interesting. I like it that. Was a, the World's Fair was on, and uh, I stayed there for six months, and then I went back to Florida. So I live there, I live in Los Angeles, and I live in uh, Miami, Miami, North Miami, Fort Lauderdale, Hollywood, that general area. Were you with your family too, Pio, or is it just you? No, no, I was a single and uh, in Germany. Oh, boy. <laughs> 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 that was my youngest year, so I, 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 I did that, uh, you know. Oh, and single. American chicks love accents. We love yeah. accents. <laughs> mm, yeah, yeah, I, I, I agree with that. I, I, <laughs> I, I found out myself, yes, they did. They didn't yes. love action. And, and we make too. you say things too. We we make you say things like that crap crazy and all that <laughs> kind of thing. So it's it's kind of fun. Right? Yes, it is. It's, I love I love every moment of it uh, when I lived in the States. Really I enjoy the freedom, I enjoy the the attitude. It was in the eighties, so the years were good, you know. Right. And um, you could you could uh, work and have make something good for yourself. So I like the the the, the idea of uh, having a dream and fulfill, fulfilling your dreams, thinking positive and uh, go forward and try to make something good for yourself. I really I really enjoy my living there. I miss kind of miss it. But as a single person I enjoy it there. And now as a married person with a family and a child, I love it here, back in into my uh, small uh, village of 5,000, where I came back finally to rest my <laughs> my soul and my physical. <laughs> oh, I love that. It's very cyclical. You had to go out and reach far yes. and wide and then come back and say, okay, I've done all this. and. And now it's time to, to, to come back where you grew up, which sounds fabulous. So I'm sure you appreciated it when you were living there, but you really do have to go away to say, oh, God, I love, I love where, I, where I come from. Oh, yes. I loved right. every, every moment. And uh, when I went to the States the first time, uh, it was my, my, bir my 23rd birthday. So today I can say a cycle is completed. And back here... I'm happy with my family. I enjoy the the, the peaceful uh, feeling that being a family man brings after all this year of uh, always being around the world like a, like a, you know like a butterfly or something like that. <laughs> so I'm, like, I'm, that. like I'm, I enjoy the the, 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 the steadiness of, of my my situation right now to to be calm and here and. Uh, 
with my with my dear ones, my loved ones, and that's all I need. Yes, yes. Um, Greg, Greg just got home too. He's probably gonna swing on by. I'm doing an uh, online show, sweetie. If you want to say hi. Um, yeah, I think that I love the idea of a peel butterfly. By the way, <laughs> I'd like somebody <laughs> to do a little a little graphic of a little uh, a little your head with a little. Bit. With so a somebody get on yeah, that. That's a good idea. I, I <laughs> might get. I, I might do that tonight when I on the, I get my artistic feeling on. Yes, please. Maybe do. I do that. Your, yeah, sure. Your birthday present for yourself, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> With a big head and the, and the wings and, and then a butterfly out on my side. <laughs> well, listen, if a bumblebee can have you know the big body and and still make it happen, <laughs> the peel butterfly can. Uh, can yeah, sure. That's a good can, idea. Oh, go go. Hey, uh, tell me about if you feel comfortable with it about uh, two two uh, fig, is it figlia? Is it your children? How do you say children? Uh, filia, yeah, filia, 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 that's, filia. Uh, yeah, well, she's uh, 11 now, mm. her name is Aurora, which means uh, dawn, oh. the sun, the sun rising, I, uh, I, I name it like that, Maria Aurora, because uh, she's like the sun, the sun that rises every day for me, yes, and uh, she's wonderful, I, I love her, she loves me, and uh, what can That's I a say? great age, Peel. Oh, 11, <laughs> you know, she's she's young and curious and just, you know, really wants to get out there. I'm sure she loves everything that you do as well, so her papa, so that, uh, that's awesome. <laughs> Go for you. Yes. Is uh, it just yes. one? Just one. And you that's can enough? see a, you can see a bit of her in, in my profile on Google+. Plus. She's just I did see on, on, my, on, on my shoulder a, a little bit. I show just a little bit of it. Yes, yes. <laughs> how do you feel about that? We're going to loop into social media just for a second. So, how do you feel about that now having children? You know, you've been a photographer, which, you know, when you think about the social media and the world of the internet now, you've been a photographer long enough to know about exposure and, and taking photos of people. And now, you know, having a young daughter, do you feel pretty comfortable with? With her being on the internet, or, or do, you know what I mean? Like, do you have any kind of um, discomfort um, with that? I, I tell you a story that happened today. Uh, I just uh, made a, a Google, uh, no, sorry, a Facebook for profile for her a few days ago. Oh boy! And uh, uh, I kept it. You know, I say, hey, when you go on Facebook, you have to be with your dad, and she agree on that. But today on the news there was something that happened in Switzerland that somebody, a, a 13 year, year old girl was, um, um, you know, kidnapped. somebody uh, kidnapped her uh, mm -hmm. and the, the, her contact was uh, through Facebook. So I, I, we discussed that and she said, okay, that I don't want to be uh, on the social media anymore. So we, we deactivate the, the account. So that's how I feel about just today we did that. Wow, so that's amazing. I, I, I just uh, realized it is too early for her to be on the social networks because I many times uh, on Facebook especially, uh, I mean I have nothing against Facebook but it happened many times that mm, minors have been uh, uh, exposed to Problems yes. like that, so I think it's a better idea just to keep her away for that, from that for a while, for a few more years, I guess. I like it that she made the decision herself. Yeah, yeah, she did. I say, yes. hey, what you wanna do? And she say, I take me out. She say, I, I understand it's not a safe uh, place to be. I like and this she kid. Did. Yeah, I like I, her. She did. She did. Well, I didn't wanna uh, order her to 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 stop her account because I want her to be able to make her own decisions, you know. Yes, yes, I like I like that a lot. Uh, you know, I, I know, you know, the other hard thing, and I think, you know, this occurs a lot more in the States, or, or it occurs definitely in the States. I don't know if it's there as much. I have a feeling it's probably worldwide because it's yeah, been it's from years old. Is, is um, you know, the bullying, and when people are, uh, you know, the kids really bully each other. I mean, there's some kids that have you know, ended up committing suicide and things like that, not to take such yes. a serious tone, but, uh, you know, it's actually a good thing. I don't have two-legged children. I just have four-legged or three-legged children because uh, <laughs> I would probably be, <laughs> you know, I would be that parent that would come out swinging 
and uh, just want to take some kids out in the parking lot if they were giving my kid a hard time. So <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sure you, you've learned how to um, how to handle that. But but as that you know, social media is uh, you know when we were kids, it definitely was um, you know you could be a target, and it was painful enough when it was one dimensional. Uh, yeah. Now it's five dimensional, and it's just it's yeah, just yeah. crazy. Yeah, yeah. To be so. careful. Yeah, to be careful. Yes. See, see, see. So. so um, I know that you love your Google Plus, and uh, tell me what's your newest thing? Are you how's your how's your paid that page? You have sharing is caring, and then you have a couple other communities too. Let's talk about how you get yourself out there on social media. Yeah, I I, um, I started back in 2011 uh, in July uh, at the very beginning. Just I saw I saw this invitation. I joined. I like it. Mm -hmm. I like it uh, the way it was in the beginning more than I do now, tell you the truth, because the stream has, has been broken up in too many streams. But still, you know, it's a matter of uh, if, you, if you just join, you probably love it anyway. I like the, the, the earlier feeling of uh, being uh, like a pioneer, you know, and there was uh, just a few of us and uh, we enjoyed it very much. But... Um, I, I learned uh, one thing that the, one, the, the most important thing you can do here in, in Google Plus is a sharing because uh, nobody likes it better when you share uh, the content. If somebody shares your post, it takes wings. You give wings to, to, your, <laughs> to your post. So I, I created this page that's called Sharing is Caring. And uh, where everybody can post uh, anything they want and share it, you know. And I do too sometimes share, but I don't have too much time because I have other pages. I have about eight or nine other pages. So uh, when I get something that's really interesting, I just go and um, do a, a massive sharing if mm -hmm. something is really worth. And uh, I, I see the ripples. Some, if you're familiar with ripples, I'm sure you are. Yeah, yeah. And you can see how it spreads out into the community very, very fast with the pages. And I think that's a good tool. Like if you want to, your content to be spread out in the net, you, you create some pages that of things that are passion, uh, you are passionate about. Last one I created is uh, jazz, uh, blues, and uh, classic music. In, uh, I just put clips of uh, good music there, mm -hmm. but I also have other pages that I use once in a while. Uh, Ghost Town or Google Plus I created because uh, there was last year um, um, a journalist made a write-up saying that Google was a ghost town. Ah, so I, said, I remember that. If this is a ghost town, uh, let's get all the ghosts together. <laughs> <laughs> and make it, so I made a, a Google a Ghost Town Google Plus, and yes. uh, it has about three thousand uh, people in the page. So it's pretty good for a page to have three thousand followers. You know. Oh, I yeah. love that. And then um, we'll share everything on the because we don't have an event. I'll just I'll just share it on the YouTube link too because I I love all the pages that you have, and I I agree. I think having all the different interests. I'm just starting to dabble into that a little bit this much. Yeah. You see this. You just um, you just create the page. Let's say mm -hmm. you are interested in uh, okay anything you like. You create a page, you tailor the page uh, as you wish, and then you put your your uh, your uh, blog there on your uh, uh, site. So every time you post on the, on the, on Google, it's it's, it's um, duplicating itself into the into the pages, into the site, and into the blog. You know, right. It's a way right. to, to spread out the word that works uh, pretty fine. <clears throat> I feel like it's a lot easier to get your voice out there and heard. And you know, and, and I know you and I have talked about this before. But when I first started on Google Plus, and now hearing you say that, I realize I have a bit of a missed opportunity. But I I started uh, two years ago, and I definitely was like, yeah, crickets chirping, ghost town. Didn't understand that. Um, and thought of it as something that I uh, something else that I had to manage, which was like, ah, uh, too much. So I dropped it, and now I kind of wish I would have had kind of hung out with the cool kids in the beginning who who stuck it out. 
in uh, in Google Plus. But then I got uh, I got my new lease on life in February when I started the show, and now I'm like, ah, where have I been? The best thing <laughs> ever. I, I really do. I just feel like it, I, I would not be able to share. Um, I'll probably start a page for The Walking Dead. Uh, that's you know my favorite little show here in the states, and I, I must be on a kick because I posted a link for um, really great horror um, movies, you know, like scary books or and things like that. So I'll probably post something like that for being. Yeah, you can, you can you can create mm -hmm. a page like that and just share the clips of mm -hmm. YouTube or the books or whatever, and you know. It's like uh, it's very interesting that you can do whatever you want with the page, and you have no limit in what you can create. So, and you have yes. no limit on the page. I think you have you can have up to a hundred or two hundred pages. So, is you know, is it the you only thing you, crazy? The only thing with pages is that you don't have enough time to to, to manage on. all of them. So, after a yes. while, you concentrate. You put out. Uh, my suggestion is. For a new new comers, is to put out five or six pages uh -huh. of the things that you really love, and then see the one that work, and the other one that don't work, you take them out and leave just the. the it's like planting some seeds in the in the in the ground, you know. The one yes. that sprout, you keep. The one that don't sprout, you 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 take out. You, you pinch off. You say no, no, thank you. Hey, I think it's time in the show for us to do clinkies. Oh, happy birthday. Clinkies. I make the noise. Ding. 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 <laughs> uh, if any of you have not seen P.O. and I together online, we are generally drinking because <laughs> P.O. lives in the land of Prosecco, and I'm jealous as I'll get out and would love to be there and uh, toasting, which I'm putting out to the universe <laughs> oh. that you and I are going to uh, have uh, some Prosecco. Oh, and oh, that yours sounded better. And uh, we're going to be having some Prosecco. We need to bring the Hilarskis. From Panama, <laughs> we're gonna have a contest. <laughs> Bob Boss is over here, like, what is going on? <laughs> I wish, and I have to do this for you um, for your birthday then too. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, it is your birthday. Hey, what did you get for your birthday today, by the way, darling? My gift. Okay, my wife cooked a good uh, apple pie, and my daughter uh, gave me a, a big heart. It was <laughs> a, a handmade heart with some um, fabric, beautiful. Uh -huh. And uh, also another uh, object that uh, was handmade. It, it looked like a, a, a flower with a, a vase, but it was made with... Um, uh, a special, uh, a special thing. Anyway, I, I, it's hard for me to describe it, but that's just a couple of objects, but very, very interesting because they were given uh, in, in, in it, a video, a video cassette of something that was interesting here. You should do a little photo shoot of all your found your your fun new objects. I like how you say object, by the way, because then that lets me know that you were just given things that that the, obviously the people made that they made for you and they picked out for you, which is really important. I wish you would have worn your hat, your new hat. What? Did you say your daughter made a hat for you? I wish you would have worn it. <laughs> you should have brought all your all your new birthday <laughs> things onto the show. Yeah, I, if I knew, I would, but I didn't. I I left it in in the car, and the car is not here. Oh, but, uh, not, uh, next time right I will I will show it to you. I will show it to you, <laughs> next time. you need to do uh, the the little uh, auto awesome of of all of your birthday things, including <laughs> that apple pie. I hope you took a picture of it. Uh, the apple. Yeah, I think I have a picture. I, I have a picture uh, <laughs> somewhere. I, I did with the autocomplete. I, I will show you that. I will post that one too. I, I had my, my sister took a picture of us three with the cake. Oh, I love it. Now yes, you need, to, will, you need to put that up, definitely. Listen, and I know they always talk about um, backgrounds and maybe seem too busy or whatever. i got to say you have the most kick-ass background with the coffered, like, uh, recessed ceiling and all the flowers and everything. Mm. You like that? I do. I do like that. Is that at your uh, at your workspace or is that at your home? Yeah. No, That's this, your is home. My, this is my workspace. Yeah, I show you. This, well, this is a bar right behind me. 
Oh, Peon coming to visit. Forget that. They, they, they want you to see that is a coffee machine. Oh, where they make my so cappuccinos, tiny. make cappuccinos <laughs> and make coffees. <laughs> and uh, on the other side. Oh, I, you, you oh look at this. Oh, I love it's, that. It's tea. kind of dark, but you probably see it. No, I can see. I can totally see it. Oh, my gosh, Theo, that looks gorgeous. We're coming to visit. See, we can all hang out in that table right yeah. there. Look at the little pillars. I love that. If I turn the camera around right now, it would be a hot mess. It would not be good, but you're seeing the beautiful part of my of my workspace. Oh, gosh, that is so nice. Look at that. You get the good this stuff, Theo. This is where I spend my night. See, see, see. All right, so mm -hmm. it's time. I know, and I love that. It's time, Theo. It's time. It's time. Do you know what it, you know what time it's for? Besides clinkies, more and more clinky clinkies. It's time uh, to end, end the show. No, it's it, well almost. But before we end this show, we're gonna go bat crap crazy, and I want you to tell me what you're crazy about, so I can. Because I mean, it, it's your birthday. You get you get to talk about whatever you want that you love. It's a big order. What I'm bat 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 bat, bat crazy. Mm-hmm. Uh, at this moment, or you mean uh, in general? I think in general, or at this moment, yeah, you can be very okay. this, but I, I love in general just because then this gives you a chance to talk about what you're crazy about. Well, I'm bad, bad crazy definitely about photography and uh, uh, writing. I love writing as well. Yes. Um, I just wish uh, for my birthday, I have a wish that I can go bad, bad crazy about. I would like to write for a, um, for a big uh, Mm, magazine or something like that in, in the moment on the on the net maybe you know something like uh, I shoot very high like Forbes or Washington Post something big like yes that. Huffington I Post know, that I, would be wonderful no, something uh, big I like to write for for a big uh, company like that but that's just a wish and I like to wish big because that's what I learned in the United States you have to dream yes. big because small dreams they come very easy Big dreams, they come harder, but when they come, they fulfill your soul. Oh, they just they just overwhelm you, and I love that. Fulfill your soul. You always say things the best way, too. I think that's perfect for you to get your birthday wish out there, because that that is, uh, you just put it out into the universe. I'm going to make the noise. That was for the universe, so, can, <laughs> so you can hear it <laughs> and take you up on it, because I know you mean business. You're not kidding. Thank right. You. Thank All right, you. darling. Well, we are going to finish up. We just finished up with the most awesome birthday bat bat because I say bat crap, but you say bat bat, and I just love how you say it. It sounds so good. So, darling, thank you for the opportunity to interview you on your birthday, the day of your birth, 57 years on this earth. We're so grateful you're here. Thank you, and you are wonderful, Mia. It's always good to be with you on the Hangout. Your program is great. You are a wonderful person to know, and I'm really glad that we hook up and uh, we will continue our relationship on uh, Google Plus as much as we can. And yes, thank you for darling. having me. Thank you for having me on your wonderful show. Yes, I'm very, very lucky to interview, and then I'm <laughs> hoping we do this in person sometime. And again, we'll have our whole crew of people, and we'll be drinking prosecco. So that's it for our show tonight, everyone. Wish Pio a happy birthday. Mwah. Grazie. Ciao, ciao. Mm, ciao, ciao. ciao. Oh, yeah. Thank you, ciao. Thank you. You today, so where did you grow up? I didn't grow up. That's, oh, I'm so glad you said that. <laughs> I'm still, I'm still a kid. No, yeah. I grew up in the, in the, um, in Veneto, which is a, a northeastern Italian region where Venice is, uh, is up there in the northeastern part of the country in a small village of uh, 5,000 people and then I move out to travel the world. I love to see what was on the other side of the fence and I did. I travel, I met people, I learned, I, I went all over the place. I and so, hi everybody, welcome to the Mia Connect on Air. I'm your host Mia Voss. Today I'm doing an interview, not a social media power chat because it's a very special day. Today is the birthday of Pio Dalcin. Welcome to the show, darling. Ciao, ciao. Thank you okay. for having me. Yes, absolutely. Hold on, I didn't have it queued up. <laughs> 
So we were just saying on before the show started, I said, Pio, are you ready? And you said I was born ready. <laughs> yes, you were born ready, which is perfect for the day. And then I want you to say my other favorite phrase that I say. What do I always say? I'm what about you? Yeah, the, I, the, that. I was surprised myself. I, I took six or seven pictures. Well, my daughter took six or seven pictures. Next yes. thing I know, I look in the picture and I saw all this. I say, hey, let me put it on, on the page. Uh, Mm -hmm. I, it's it's perfect. I love that because it does have the. I just did it today with Bob Voss, so we'll see how that. I haven't posted it yet, but but I will be. It looks really good. All right, well, let's talk about you because it's your birthday. So yes. let's. Uh, I mean, what got you to? What number is it today? I don't want to out you unless you don't want to say how old you are. How old uh, are you? I'm I'm a, I'm a, a 57 year young. 57 spankings. Do you do that in Italy? Spankings. No spankings. We 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 pull the ears like this. <laughs> you have to pull the yeah. ears down for fifty-seven times. That takes about a half an hour. Do you, do you spray? Our, yeah, you you go like this. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that takes a long time. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, I know. Mine would be 48, next year 49 for that, so my earlobes would be red. I did not know that. That's learned something new today for the uh, for the ear pulling. Oh, I love oh, that. Yeah, All right, I let's talk it. about... Yeah, so we you always interview everybody else, so let's talk about you. You're bad, bad crazy. <laughs> bad, bad crazy. <laughs> You say it better than anybody. That's not crazy. That, exactly. <laughs> and then, um, so of course, I usually wear my Principesa crown, but today, for your birthday, I'm going to wear this. Uh, that's wonderful. So, Thank you. You move, me to t you, you move me to tears. <laughs> you know what I liked the best uh, this week? What I just liked it on your page was the, uh, the gift that you did with the, with the sunglasses, with the, the flashy glasses. Oh, the auto awesome, yeah. I took auto awesome, pictures. that's right. 